Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm getting ready for the first Bassmaster Open of the 2023 season at Lake Eufaula. Uh, I'm actually leaving in two days and just kind of doing all my rod rigging right now. The boat hasn't even been filled with tackle yet. I've still got a lot of tackle that I've got to put in here. Um, we've done about, you know, 10 rod and reel combos right now that we've rigged up. And right now, on a, I'm on my chatterbait lineup. So I'm going to be rigging up five different rods with five different chatterbaits for different situations. And because the chatterbait is just one of my favorite tools in general, that's why I like to keep a bunch of different rods with, uh, you know, that are just ready to go with whatever, you know, chatterbait uh, that I, I want to use in that situation. But a lot of them, I, I, four of the five have a jackhammer chatterbait on them. So just a regular jackhammer is there's no mystery there. I mean, the jackhammer catches just a ton of fish. Uh, a lot of tournaments have been won off of a jackhammer. So it's just a fish catching sucker right here. But another chatterbait that, especially during the early season, starts playing a big role. And it's a fairly new chatterbait. It's one that, that I really haven't heard a lot about since it was introduced. Uh, but is one that when the water is colder and dirtier is a, a bait that can actually widen a fish's strike zone. And what I mean by that is, you know, this time of year when the water is, is you know, cold and you get those, those um, you know, those rainstorms that come through that muddy up the water on a lot of these lakes in the, in the south, um, you get fish that, that pull tight to cover. They don't really want to go a, a long distance to attack a bait, so their strike zone is small. You got to get that bait right in front of them. Now, a fish's strike zone is variable, so it depends on a lot of different things. If you're throwing a Ned rig in muddy water, their strike zone is going to be super tiny. You got to put it right in front of their face because they're, they, they're not able to find it, um, you know, away from where they're just sitting. But as you get a bait that has more and more of an obvious presence through vibration or sound, that fish's strike zone is going to widen because you've, you've essentially let them know the presence of the bait at a longer distance. So when you are faced with muddier conditions, uh, you know, less visibility for the fish, um, a bait that has a lot of vibration is a big deal. And obviously a jackhammer already has a ton of vibration. However, there's one chatterbait that has the most amount of vibration out of any other, you know, chatterbait or bladed jig out there, and that is the chatterbait big blade. Okay, so this sucker right here, you can see the size difference. I'll compare the two. You got the regular jackhammer and you got the big blade. Uh, it's a, a much bigger blade in general, and it creates a crazy amount of vibration. When you're reeling this thing in, going from this bait, the big blade, back to a, a jackhammer, you don't hardly feel anything at all. Uh, but the big blade puts off a lot of vibration in the water. It's a bigger profile in general. Um, you know, there, it seems like the skirt is just a little bit more billowy. It's, it's uh, you know, it's got a bigger hook on it. So everything about this bait is bigger. And to me, when the water gets real muddy, you get those those big giant rainstorms we get in you know February and March, the big blade is a really good choice for those situations because of that added vibration. So <clears throat> that's why I'm adding the big blade to my, my lineup for this upcoming tournament is because I can appeal to fish that have smaller strike zones in general and, uh, and kind of coax them into going longer distances. So I don't have to like be as, as pinpoint precise with my presentation for those fish. I don't have to get it right on their nose. I can actually, you know, be five foot off and those fish feel that intense vibration and they go over to investigate because it's easy for them to use their lateral line to find that bait. So the big blade really appeals to those fish. Um, the way that I'm gonna be fishing the, the, uh, the big blade is pretty much the same exact setup that I'm gonna be using for a traditional chatterbait. I'm using a 7.3 medium heavy Versa series rod, a 7.2 to one gear ratio VLD 10. Uh, and I'm just mentioning the tackle that I use, but you can use you know whatever comparable you know gear that that uh, you like to use. These are just my preferences. Uh, and then I use like usually 20 pound test red label fluorocarbon from Seaguard. That's my basic setup. And as far as the, the the trailer choices with the big blade, that's something that I've really been experimenting with recently. 
Um, and I think that the, the, the big blade is quite a bit different as far as those choices than the jackhammer. The jackhammer pretty much stick with the razor shads from Z-Man and the, um, the diesel minnows. Those are the two that I, I like. I like the razor shads early season when it's colder. And also I'm trying to get that gliding fall to it. Uh, and I use the, uh, the diesel minnows for pretty much everything else. But with the, the big blade, I still use the, the razor shads like I've got here. Okay. That's a, a really good one for early season, especially if I'm yo-yoing this, this bait. But, um, I'll also add a, um, like for, for imitating like a, a crawfish this time of year, obviously that's the, the fire craw. Um, this is a really good trailer to add onto it. It has a really good profile. This is the Billy Goat from Z-Man. Um, and so this one actually fits that, that big uh, blade very, very well. And the other one, like if I've got a lot of, if I'm using a shad pattern and I've got a lot of like big gizzard shad around, that's another situation that the big blade really, uh, you know, performs well in is when you've got bigger than average size bait fish, you know, big gizzard shad or really big threadfin shad running around. You want something that, that has that, that profile, that, that vibration profile underneath the surface. And so I'll, 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 oftentimes if I'm trying to appeal to those fish eating, you know, gizzard shad, I'll use the six inch or the five inch diesel minnows. So this is actually a pretty big profile, uh, you know, uh, swim bait for a chatter bait, but for the big blade, it fits very, very well. I might trim down like a half inch or something like that to, to kind of make it a little bit shorter. But in general, you know, the, the five inch diesel minnows works pretty well. So those are the, the different, um, trailer choices that I use with the big blade. Um, yeah, uh, you know, it, it really comes down. It's not a clear water presentation to me. Uh, to me, it's all about, fishing the big blade in dirtier water in situations where you need that extra, extra vibration. And I'm still exploring this bait as far as like the different situations that it works in, but that's kind of where, where it's at. And I, I find that the pre-spawn is the best time period for the big blade. Uh, and also sometimes in the fall, when you have a lot of those, those big shad uh, moving around, there's a lot of shad activity in general, especially gizzard shad it does work in those situations too. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share my thoughts on the Big Blade. It's a really, really cool uh, chatterbait that came out about two, uh, I think a year ago or something like that. And it's one that I'm not hearing a lot about, but I think that that's because a lot of people are seeing the benefits of this chatterbait and keeping it secret. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Have you fished the Big Blade before? And if you have, what kind of success have you had in different situations? Uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. And also make sure that you guys like, share, subscribe. That always helps, uh, you know, grow this channel. I really love doing these videos, but always like that, that, uh, you know, confirmation that, that you guys like, uh, the, the content that I'm putting out. And also, if you're interested in buying any of the products that I mentioned in this video, uh, be sure to use the affiliate links that I'm, I'm keeping in the description, uh, of this video. That way you can get 10% off of your order and it's another way to support the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll see you out on the water. Take care.